Okay, once we have our patterns finished for our Brito shields, now it's time to paint over them with our watercolor paints. Remember, these are supposed to be very colorful, so we are not going to be using black or brown on these pictures. Any other color in between, no black or brown. Also keep in mind when you're choosing your colors, you don't wanna paint the same color on top of the same oil pastel color that you use. So I would not choose red to paint in this area right here. I would not choose orange for this area. We want our patterns to stand out from the painted background. And much like crayons, when you make a crayon resist by painting over it with watercolor paint and the paint runs right off the wax from the crayons and sticks to the paper, same thing with oil pastels. The water and the oil or I'm sorry, the water and the oil from the oil pastels, they don't get along and it will run right off your marks from the oil pastel and stick to the paper. So you'll see all these colorful patterns even though you're painting over it. Remember when you're using watercolor paints, they do not work unless you use water. So you're gonna take your brush and dip it in the water first and then choose a color. Do not jab your paintbrush into it. You are painting into that color and filling your brush, coating your brush with that color. So sometimes I kind of turn it while I'm painting it. And this seems kind of dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it, to my color. All right. And then start, oh, this is kind of, this purple kind of matches my pink a little bit. I thought it'd be a little bit darker. That's okay. If you have pink, you might not want to paint purple over it. It might disappear on you a little bit. Okay, my color is starting to look a little light. So that means if I want to make it darker, I get more color on my brush. And I usually dip it into the water first and get a lot of that color on my bristles. And then it looks nice and dark. Now my pink is standing out just maybe a little bit more now that my purple is darker. Okay, I'm done with that color. So I do not just stick it into another color. I have to clean it first. So when you clean it, remember you just gently swirl it in the water or almost like you're painting the bottom of the cup. It's really drippy. Do not hit the edge of your cup with your brush. You just touch the edge with your bristles because if you tap it you're just going to make water fly everywhere and make a big mess all right dip it into another color remember just kind of paint into it the next time you use um like the purple again once it's already wet it's not going to take as long to kind of work that brush into the color to get that color to come off when it's dry it takes a while to get the color flowing but once it's wet, it's a little bit easier. All right, now I do not want to paint right next to this color because even though there's this nice thick black line separating the color, in case I got some of the color um, far into that line, I don't want it to mix with the color next to it. So I just, I'm just gonna give that a couple minutes to dry and I'm gonna paint somewhere else first. So I'm gonna paint this area right here and this green, this bright green and the red they stand out, so my dots, they're complementary colors actually. I'm not sure if we talked about that in first grade, but they're across from each other on the color wheel, red and green are straight across from each other. That means they are very different. And when you use them together, they make each other stand out. All right, if your color looks a little dry, like my color is looking a little wispy, I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then a little more color, and then I'm gonna keep painting. Remember, you hold your brush just like a pencil, but up higher. I don't hold it right down here like I do a pencil. I hold it up a little bit higher. There's already a lot of water in my red, so I'm just gonna dip my brush into that. Okay. So then I would clean my brush because I'm done with the red. I want to switch colors. Unless you want to do, you want to paint red in another section because you can repeat your paint colors. You just don't want them touching each other. I would not put red right here, even though my pattern's purple. 
um, I don't want red next to red. I want to scatter the colors around so the sections look different. They don't blend together. I could put red over here. I could put red over, well, it kind of touches here. I could put red here. Um, so you can use the color again before you rinse out your brush if you would like. Um, but just make sure when you clean it, you gently swirl it and then just touch the cup. Don't tap it. Use your messy mat and it should be positioned, even though I know this is sideways, it fits the desk better to have it like this. And it doesn't matter if you paint in the, you know, not the correct direction that it will hang. That's all right. 